Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Terry White with Adobe and it's my pleasure to give you a first look of kind of getting started with Adobe Express. The 10 things beginners want to know how to do. So this isn't everything Express could do. We could spend all day doing that. It's the 10 things to get you up and running and the 10 most common things people want to do right off the bat. So I'm dedicating this video to people like my sister Pam, who's not a graphic designer. She does this kind of stuff on the side, outside of her day job at home, at, you know, when she's like creating brochures and flyers and cards and things like that. And she's not, you know, a, a trained graphic designer, so she needs a little help. And that's what Adobe Express is great at. It can be used from anyone who's never done anything with design, all the way up to creative pros that want a faster, easier way to do things, either for themselves or for their clients. So with that said, we're gonna dive into the 10 things beginners wanna know how to do, and we're gonna start off with number one, which is the interface. So the interface is where we all start. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, I've launched Chrome, which is the browser I'm gonna use. Chrome works best with Express. You can use other browsers, but I find that Chrome works best for me. So with that said, uh, it takes me to, when I go to new.express.adobe.com, it takes me to this sign-in screen. So Express, first and foremost, is free to use. You don't have to pay for it unless you want more. So if you do pay, either for, via your Creative Cloud account that you already have, uh, for maybe using some of the other apps, or you sign up specifically for Adobe Express, you'll get premium content if you are a paying member. But anyone can get started for free. There's no trial or anything like that. You just really start using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Adobe ID, uh, but you can sign in with a social profile. So if you do create a free Adobe ID, kind of keeping all your content available on all your machines, that's probably the best way to do it. And I've already gone ahead and done that. So let's go ahead and switch over to that browser window that has my Adobe ID signed in. Next up, you'll notice that it's, I'll, I'll just walk you through this real quick, but it's the interface that's really easy to get started. So first of all, it starts off with a nice welcome. What do you wanna to make today? And you can go through the different categories. So for you, it's kind of like, it's just giving you kind of a, a tasting or a buffet of all the different things you can do. But of course, if you know specifically, hey, I wanna create a social media post for my Instagram, for my Facebook, for TikTok, for YouTube, whatever it is, then it will take you through those various social posts that you can make. Now you'll notice that when you hover over either e any of these, you get the option to either browse templates. So for people like Pam, who doesn't, you know, don't, doesn't want to start with a blank page, uh, she can browse templates and just get started with a template that's fully modifiable. Or if you are that creative pro, that graphic designer, that person that kind of knows, hey, I want to start with an image and build up from there, or start with text and build up from there, or just a plain background and build up from there, you can create from scratch on any one of these. So on any one you choose or hover over, you get a choice, start with a template, which you can completely modify and tweak to your heart's content, or create from scratch if you know what you're doing and you want to just go ahead and dive right in. And you'll notice that even when I go to social media, it even breaks down the social media channels over here for their different sizes. Now you might say, well, what's the difference between a, a Twitter post or a X post and a Facebook post? Really, it's about the size. So without you having to be a social media expert, the social media people behind Adobe Express have gone through all the platforms and found out the best sizes to make everything Within the, within the requirements of the social platforms. So if I'm making a Facebook profile cover, I don't have to know that it's 851 pixels by 315 pixels. The Adobe Express team is taking care of that for me. I just go ahead and create it and know that it's going to be the right size. And just in case I forget to tell you, even if you pick a template and the template's a, you like it because it looks the way you want, but it's not the right size, Anything you pick or anything you create can be resized to the appropriate size. And you may need to tweak or move things around a little bit, but you can uh, resize anything that you like. 
So uh, social media, video, I can uh, create a photo. I can create whatever I want, even documents for print. So it's not just online. If you want to make a flyer, a menu, a resume, a brochure, an invoice, anything you want to create for print as well as online, you can do that with Adobe Express. So I'm going to pop back over to For You because it kind of gives me that look of everything. And let's go ahead and scroll down and keep going. Now, uh, of course, generative AI, Adobe Firefly's engine is built into Express. So even if you don't have the perfect image or you don't have the perfect template, you can go ahead and generate one just by describing it in a text prompt. So text image will give me an image. Generative Fill will let me upload my own image and tweak it with Generative AI and Generative Fill using Firefly to remove or add things to the image. Text to Template lets me describe the kind of template I want. I want a birthday uh, card for my sister Pam and it will go ahead and create a birthday card template with the name Pam probably already on it, ready to go. And last but not least, text effects. These are just, again, words or sentences that you want to design using a text prompt. You would type in what the word's gonna say and then describe what it's gonna look like. Now, even if you're not creating something like uh, fully fledged or fully baked, like a flyer, you're not creating the whole thing, you have these quick actions for just those quick jobs that you wanna do that aren't necessarily a full-on express experience. So if I just wanna remove the background from a photo, maybe I'm gonna post it on a site that needs it to have no background. Then I can just upload that photo and do it right here as a quick action. I don't have to pick a template. I don't have to start with a document. I have to do any of that first. All of these are standalone actions that you can do for what they are. So for example, maybe you need a QR code to go to your site and you wanna post that QR code on something else. You wanna upload it to a business card site. Maybe you're making a business card using their template, whatever it is. So if I go ahead and put in my URL for my, uh, for my uh, QR code, it will go ahead and generate a QR code. If you were to hold your phone up, your camera up to this right now, this would take you to my social media and you should follow me on social media. So go ahead and do that. But anyway, I'll take you to it and then you can style it. You can choose uh, different looks and feel for it. It doesn't affect how it works. It's just a design thing. So you can choose if you want a generic square looking QR code, you can do that. If you want to change the color of it to maybe match what you're going to put it on. You can do that. And of course, you can download it in whatever file format you need. I suggest PNG for most compatibility, but download it in whatever format you need. And there it is. Just put your link in, generate your QR code, and keep going. You don't have to worry about having to start with a whole document to do any of these. And then it drops down to popular templates. These are always changing. So by the time you watch this video, these may all look different because they're constantly evolving. Uh, and it's just whatever is popular at any given time for the kind of post that it is. So these are the most popular Facebook posts right now, and they will change over time. And they're seasonal templates based on the holidays. Valentine's Day is coming up as of, as of the recording of this. We just passed Martin Luther King Day. So all of these uh these templates are seasonal based. And then there are add-ons. You can even add on functionality to Adobe Express to add on more things. Like for example, you see Google Drive here in OneDrive, but if I were to go and view all the add-ins, then I can probably find the one that I like, which is the one for Dropbox, because some, I use Dropbox and sometimes I wanna pull content in from my Dropbox. So I can do that right here just by adding the Dropbox compatibility. And then you'll get into the, the generative AI with Firefly. So text to image, generative fill, text to template. They're all separated here and text effects. Now at the very bottom are the documents you've created. So your most recent ones will be here. And if you wanna go back further in time, you can say view all and see everything you've ever created in Express and go right back to it and keep editing it or duplicate it and work with it. Then on the left-hand side, you've kind of got some categories here to get uh, either get started or get to a specific area of, of Express. So if I wanted to just start with a plus sign, type what I'm looking for, and uh, either choose a standard size, and yes, you can even create a custom size if it's not one that's built in, or upload media. So that plus sign is kind of a generic getting started if you want. 
And then you see your stuff. This is kind of the stuff you have in the cloud already. So these are uh, documents I've worked on. They're Photoshop files. They're all kinds of things I've done. And then uh, Explore lets me, as the word implies, Explore, Express, and see more templates now and get there. And there's even a scheduling feature built in for people that want to schedule posts to go out to various platforms. So you can see back on January 8th, I scheduled this video to go out on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. So it published it for me on my behalf to all of those various platforms. And then last but not least, there's a learning section for getting tips and advice and how to do things that I don't get a chance to cover in this video. So it's great you can come back here and learn more.